about, um, about six months ago, we became aware of the work that Arnmore Community Council were doing um, in order to sort of revive the island. We looked at all the products and services that we provide to you know, a whole host of thousands of businesses and enterprises in the country. And we realized that um, any community, the resurgence or re re revitalization of any community is, is all about trying to encourage business. Um, and, you know, in the modern age, um, the sort of the lifeblood of a business is connectivity, and that's the industry that we're in. So we looked at our products and services, and we said, you know, we could potentially add value to that. And we, thought, we saw it as, firstly, a great opportunity for us to showcase our products and services, but more, probably more importantly, as a means to try and uh, support the initiative that they're trying to undertake, which is to revitalize the island and get more people living there. Yeah, so what we did is we approached this island solution just like we would approach any large enterprise account. So we thought of it as a single business in essence. And the way we approach that is we work with the stakeholders, in this case it would have been the local business community and, uh, and the, residential, the residents of the island, to figure out what their requirements were. The first thing we did is we increased the capacity on the site itself. So we doubled the capacity on that. Um, we also put in fixed mobile broadband which is a bit of a contradiction in terms, but essentially it's mobile broadband, but fixed to location. Um, in some of the key uh, locations, like the, the primary school, um, the medical center, the community center, we put in um, a wireless leased uh, line or dedicated connectivity to what is the most optical manifestation of, our, of, our, of this project, which is the new digital hub. And we also put in a cloud-based phone system called 3Connect, which allows them to do um, conferencing and also allows them to do video conferencing as well. If you look at the existing residents, um, it means that with much better connectivity and the kind of connectivity improvements we're seeing uh, up to 10 times faster speeds than they would have had previously, it means that they can be connected on a continual basis. But also it create, creates them a much more convenient um, means of working uh, or traveling. So we have some examples of people that had to travel to Dublin um, once or twice a month um, to see a doctor and now they can do that via video conferencing or telepresence. If you look at what the, what the, um, the community council were, are really trying to do, which is to increase the number of people that are living on the island, connectivity is the lifeblood of business and business is the lifeblood of a community. What this does is it encourages people to consider living uh, in the uh, back on the island and we have a number of instances of people who own companies or work for companies who come from the island who are now considering moving back. Three have a very wide diversity of products and services across you know ICT, fixed, mobile telephony but all of those products and services are really supporting an overarching vision for our company which is to create a better connected life. And I can't think of a better example that embodies that than us supporting the island. And what better uh, initiative for us to do but to try and preserve and encourage um, this way of life.